Okay. Working on my drain off system. I'm in the process of connecting the pieces together. How I use these Indians is the one I'm going to replace because I drilled so many holes. I just decided to use it somewhere else. I bought a replacement one. I'm going to use it somewhere else. So here we go. Um, what I do is that these have locking caps on them on both sides. They have knockouts to the size. You can use a 4 inch or 3 inch size. I'm actually using Schedule 40 PVC because uh, I don't want to have any problems with uh, clogs. If I have to, I can always run a router through it and clean it out if I have to, but I don't think that'll ever be a problem. So what I do is I'm using urethane. You can use a one good waterproof silicone based uh, sealant. And I take and run a bead all the way around the outside. Get my nice piece here, nice and clean. Lock it on. And if you use silicone, or I've never used silicone or anything, wet your finger or something like that first and just wipe it into a nice smooth seal. Seals it up nice and tight. And on the PVC side, I just run another bead on the outside nice heavy bead and then slide it down inside there helps seal it up a little tighter I don't think they'll ever come apart but to do that that's how I do it and <clears throat> when you're working outside all my parts got pretty dirty it's taken us several days to do this actually it's been over a week now it's been raining all my parts got really dirty my fastest way and I was silly but bucket of water wash them off clean them because when you get to this point you got to clean all these parts I use silicone to attach this to the NDS, but when you're PVC to PVC, you need a primer. After you clean the part off with water, get it clean, you don't want to do it like that. Take your primer, uh, wipe it around the side that's going to be sealed on both joints, this one and the connecting part, purple. This is, uh, you clean it off, then let it dry, then you uh, add your cement, do the same process slide them together now when you like I said when you do these dry fit and you might only get so far but when you get these the semen on there it, it'll slide in full so always compensate make sure you get that measurement right if you got a tight fit because I had to recut a piece and because I came up short after I put it all together just something to take note when you're doing it make sure you got the pieces cut right or cut them long so you can always make an adjustment later so once you get that, um, like I said, I've got this one already laid in. It's a little early morning sun, so it's kind of bright. Um, here's the one I installed. Not the best because it's so bright. But like I said, sealant. And then I put a little sealant again, just seal it up. Um, don't think it's necessary because the water is going to go downhill. On, especially with mine, it's a pretty steep slope. And now I'll go and connect the other side. I cleaned all my parts. And now I'm going to connect some more. Let's see how it looks. Should be done here. Can't hold the camera and do it, so I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm on the last joint. Like I said, you take the little purple primer. I just smear it everywhere. I don't care. Do both sides. I'm going to be putting this on a T out here, or not T, a uh, connector. Nice and get it in there good. We're gonna let that dry for a minute. Don't have to wait long. Then you get your primer, which is or the glue. Same process. Just smear it around there. Do the same thing inside there. Don't be bashful. I don't care. Okay. So, simply slide on. I said it goes on. You know, you can look down and see how it snugs right up there. So, that's that fitting. So, just uh, once you get that on there, let it dry. Give it a minute to set up put the next one together.
but always keep in mind when you're doing this you dry fit them they only go in maybe only so far but like I said when you push this all the way in it sits all the way back here so if you're doing tight fits keep that in mind or at least measured out correctly like I said I did this and I did recut a piece waste some stuff and uh, piece it together I actually have this is where I came out uh, a few feet short but that's okay I don't mind having a piece of connector at the end and it's gonna run out here into the rocks I'm gonna build some some more rocks down here to collect the water you know so it hits the water not the ground and doesn't make a big hole here so I'm gonna add this last piece in here and it'll stick out a couple feet and I might actually divert it down a little further uh, we'll see what I do uh, see how it works but that's the essentials of it but here's what we got we got from there you got a 22 and a half degree comes up to the uh, connector here kind of like I said early morning so it's hard to see into my drain box I don't have any holes drain in this one at all right now I said I didn't want I had a lot of water coming down here I want to divert it from here um, and I already covered some of this up same thing here got a one hole in here um, and I got another one up here has one little small hole in there and I got another one I adjusted this one move this one over so it lines up with the uh, faucet and then I'm going to take and connect another one to here dig out all this move the stones dig up the stones and connect another one up here and go from there uh, one thing note this is their six inch version they're about a third the price of the nine inch so it's like it's like 15 16 bucks for the top and the bottom uh, this is like forty two dollars for the bigger ones so that's another six inch one and down here is a nine inch one uh, so depending on what you're using it for I use the bigger one down here because I had a lot of water not so much water there and I have a lot of water to top the other ones are just going to be six inch basins. So, biggest thing is just think about what you're doing, measure it all out, and always good to have a little help with you. But I think I started this so a little over a week ago, and uh, all I have to do is start backfilling, and, and I got really clay soil, so it's going to take some crushing and smashing. Oh, one other thing when you put the rock down, stomp it in the ground a little bit, get it settled in. I've had some rain, so it's settled in. I've pushed it down a little bit more make sure it seats itself in the ground really good because worst case you put it on the ground it ends up sinking on you for an inch and you have to go back and undig it or dig it up undig it dig it up and uh set it back level again so i've had this sitting out here in the rain and push it down repack the rocks and uh get it to sit really good in the ground so it doesn't sink again so all right good luck okay, we're having a down for i'm just gonna check the system till it's working Oh, so that one's working. I did dam this up a little bit to get it to go in there. Stay there, bud. I'm just going to walk around here. Obviously, some water's getting through. And uh, I think it's working. I got a damn river. Pretty, pretty mushy. But I haven't had a chance to finish any of it yet. But that's working good. Once I get it all finished off.